ओम अज्ञानतिरंगस्य ज्ञानंजनाशलाखय चक्षुर्मीता जैन तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीचैतन्यमनोस्थापित जैन भूतले स्वयं कदाह्यम ददा स्वापदातिक नम ओं विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्तिदेदस्वामीन नाम नमस्ते सरस्वतीदेवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषून्यवादी पश्चतारिणे गायसी कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनंद श्री अद्वैतगृधार शिवासदी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर द ऑपरचुनिटी टू स्पीक अ फ्यू वर्ड्स इट इज माई ग्रेट प्लेजर एंड ऑनर टू एक्चुअली रेलेटिवली रिसेंटली इट वॉज ओनली विद इन द लास्ट सिक्स मंथ्स और सो one fine day i got a call from it was <clears throat> uh both from brother sundar prabhu and uh, sankar shanitai prabhu i was not aware actually of a lot of ground work that had been done i came to know a little bit later in regards to preparation for uh for this day for the opening the beginning of the iskon bhagavat mahavidyalaya the very first day i visited an iskon temple that goes back by some years that is the day i discovered the bhagavatam <laughs> of course in the western countries nobody knows even about bhagavad gita what to speak of bhagavatam but to me it was a revelation on that day i came to know that there exists such a thing as a bhagavatam and <clears throat> of course having joined this kind become a devotee we have some competition <laughs> uh the bhagavatam i came to know gradually is the heart and the foundation of our whole vaishnav sampradaya a few years back which was we could say a prelude to this institute and i think it's very befitting that we should remember this very great personality vaishnava disciple of his divine grace shri prabhupad his grace gopi parananda prabhu i came to know that that school was going to be set up and i remember making a special effort to have at that time one of my quite young disciples attend the first batch bhagirath thus brahmachari at that time and uh <clears throat> i was very happy that this endeavor was undertaken as i am today of course for which i'm very thankful to those involved for making this happen to begin with personalities like brother sundar prabhu who is busy directing traffic <laughs> uh receiving guests and uh Sankar Shani Thai Prabhu I am less aware of other personalities involved uh but I know there are a number of devotees whom many of you will meet probably they will be visiting here as well This is such a rare unique and very special opportunity that all of you who are students who are coming here to take up this three year course are are getting this opportunity um 
as we heard a few minutes ago, it's a long uh, cherished desire, very, <clears throat> very clear instruction given to us by our founder, Acharya, to develop what we call traditional education. The whole world today is crying. The whole world is being destroyed in so many ways because of lack of basic traditional knowledge, which only our Vaishnav Sampradaya, uh, the Vedic knowledge that we receive, especially in the form of the Srimad Bhagavatam, can give. <clears throat> we were mentioning during the Bhagavatam class <laughs> This morning I was, I, I was sensing myself going ahead of, you know, the things that I wanted to speak at this time here. But the Bhagavatam is, is what the world is waiting for today, actually. Um, the fulfillment of our Acharyas, beginning even from Acharyas before the time of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, beginning with the most <clears throat> honored of the Bhagavat uh, <clears throat> Acharyas, Sridhar Swami, and a whole list actually of so many Acharyas, whom Srila Prabhupada introduced to us in his purports, actually, as we know. And therefore, you know, similar to what uh, the Goswamis of Vrindavan. We're performing on a daily basis by gathering together and reciting and hearing and discussing from the Bhagavatam. This is meant to be uh, an ongoing tradition and it will be possible through this institute of the ISKCON Bhagavat Mahavidyalaya. Although I recently came in contact with the institute here. I'm very, very, very happy that it is taking place and uh, I'm happy to be connected with it. Um, I very much am thankful once again to those who are making this possible and thankful to all of you who are coming from different countries to be part of this uh, educational Institute. I'm sure without any doubt Srila Prabhupada today is very pleased that this is happening and this can serve as a model is meant actually to serve as a model to introduce uh, <clears throat> such kind of uh, educational <clears throat> undertaking in different parts of the world. Actually, every single country should have not only one, but a series of such educational institutes. And it is very, very clear as well, as mentioned a few minutes ago, Srila Prabhupada wanted that our society not just be a spiritual organization like so many organizations are there. He wanted us to be especially an educational institute. He wanted us to be a cultural institute. He wanted us actually to be an institute that is able, or a society that is able to introduce major cultural changes and social changes actually within society. So by having, cultivating, training individuals who will become very qualified brahmanas, then without such qualified brahmanas we cannot move forward to Im implement actually the Varnashrama mission which is an integral part, the 50% part of Srila Prabhupada's yet unfulfilled uh, mission. <clears throat> By having qualified brahmanas who are deeply learned in the Bhagavatam, right? Prabhupada wanted actually that in Delhi, <laughs> before ministers go to parliament, they should attend Bhagavatam class. <laughs> so maybe by this endeavor and by connecting with different institutions, universities, then this message uh, can come to the ears of some of our leaders 
so that they can institute support in so many ways uh, the learning of the Bhagavatam and uh, the practicing of the teachings in the Bhagavatam. There's many individuals, everyone needs to be introduced, etc. And Maharaj is here as well. So I don't want to take more time than this. But again, I'm very, very happy. To me, this is an opportunity to come to Vrindavan Dham. I don't uh, do that very often, but uh, <clears throat> uh, I am, again, very thankful. And I wish uh, this effort uh, to be crowned with all success by the mercy of Krishna Balaram and uh, Sri Sri Radha and Krishna. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.